Hi everyone, for today's video, I'm going to be installing a CASA smart light switch from TP-Link. So this is a single pole that will connect to your Alexa or uh, Google Home. And this is how it actually looks like. So you can see right now, it have its own plates. But for me, I have three switches right here. I want to replace this middle switch. So basically, I wanted to be able to uh, control this. Uh, number one is from Alexa. And so that when we go on vacation, I can schedule some of the switches in our room so that it will turn on and off at certain time. Since this one have a built-in uh, box, I think we can actually remove this because it has just snap in it, okay? So the first thing you want to do before you remove the cover on this is to go to your panel and turn off the breaker. Okay, so for me, I have my... A fuse box labeled and I know that this lighting label right here is the one that controls the light switch in my room upstairs so I'm just gonna turn this thing off now if you don't have things labeled what you can do is go one at a time turn it off check your uh, lights if it turned off and go to the next one go to the next one until you find the right fuse that controls the circuit to that room okay so, but for me right now, I turn it off. So let's go back upstairs. Okay, so now that we have the fuse off, I want to just make sure that this thing doesn't have any more energy coming in, okay? Now let's go ahead and take off the cover. So let me go ahead and remove this first from the plate and measure it before I actually remove the whole thing, okay? So to separate this from the plate, all you have to do is just snap it out, okay? So right there. And I wanna make sure that it fits right here. Okay, it looks like it does. Okay, that's good. So everything fits well, all the holes. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue let me remove this okay so this is my ground let me take that thing out okay so what we have here is a ground wire and a live and a load wire right here but what we're missing is the neutral wire so the smart light switch if you look over here will require a neutral wire so for, for it to work so what we're going to do is we're going to have to remove the other. It looks like I saw a neutral wire right there. It's just not connected to the switches. So I'm going to remove this one and check if I can um, put that thing in there. Okay, so let me go ahead and remove it. Okay, so let me just put this thing aside. Over here, I see a neutral wire right there so this is where i'm going to install the other cord so let me go ahead and remove this now let's go ahead and put in the white cord and put it with this group right here okay so i'm going to move this thing right here because this is the one on the side and I'm gonna be taking these two uh, wires out. So if you look over here, you have the line and load wire right here. For the TP-Link, it doesn't really matter which one of this you connect to this. So you can just take these two out and connect it with this right here. So now I'm gonna have to connect one of this into one of this uh, block wires. So let me go ahead and start with this wire right here okay okay make sure it doesn't come off I'm gonna go ahead and put this one right here Okay, now I'm going to have to install the ground on this one, okay. Okay, 
Okay, so now we're gonna have to tuck everything back in. Okay, so let's go ahead and check to see if the switch will go back in. So, looks like we got a perfect fit right here, okay? So, let me go ahead and install this loop back. Okay, so for now, I just installed the two switch just in case we have to open it back up. But for, let's go ahead and uh, turn on the main switch. So, just back here, turn this thing back on. And you can see right now, the uh, Wi-Fi light is blinking. That means that it's ready for setup. And if you press this switch right now, you can see the light turns on and off, okay? So, this is the only instruction that comes with it. Basically, it just says download the CASA app and add to CASA. And it didn't even have instruction on how to install the actual switch. So, let me go ahead and go to my Play Store and go CASA. And just install this thing. Okay, so we'll just wait for it to install. Now that it's installed, we'll just click on open. And I'm sure it's gonna ask me to create a login. Okay, so welcome to CASA. Create an account, I'm gonna create an account and we get back to you. Okay, so after I created the account, it just asked me to log on and basically it just goes to the privacy policy. I'll, I'll just say I have read it and agree. And I'm gonna click continue. So, once you log in, now you have an option to add a device. So, let me just click on add and hopefully it finds that uh, switch, smart switches. And I have a regular smart switch, so I'll just do that. And says, before we start, hope you have already installed your smart switch on the wall. I said yes. And it says, check if it's blinking orange and green and I'll say orange and green enable location just say allow it looks like it found it right away and I'll just click connect okay so now it's asking me for a network let me go ahead and select my network from here so after I selected my network it says to go to your Wi-Fi and make sure that uh, my network 3GK is selected Okay, so after I connected to my network, now it's asking me to name my device. So I'm just going to name it Light and click Next. And choose an icon for your smart switch. I'm just going to choose this and click Save. And the location name, I'm going to say Master Bed. And now the light switch is configured and ready to use. Sounds good. Okay, so now I have my light switch right here. So if I click here, so you look here right now, turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off. Okay, so now let's go ahead and uh, add the TP-Link to Alexa. So if you can see right now, I just opened my Alexa and all you need to do on the top of your Alexa app, just click on the plus button and click on add device. And then here, just look for switch. And then what is the brand of your switch? So I'm going to look for Casa. It looks like there's nothing. So let's go look for TP-Link. There we go. So there is a TP-Link Casa. So I'll just click on that. And it says here, we'll guide you to the install switch. And I'm just gonna say next. Just say next here. Just say next here. So I already have everything here. So next is to connect CASA. I already did. And now it says CASA enable to use. So I'm just gonna click on that enable use. And it's asking me to log into my CASA account. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So after I log in, it's now telling me that the TP link has been successfully linked. Okay, so let's give it a try. Alexa, turn light on. Alexa, turn light off.
Alexa, turn light on. Alexa, turn light off. So that's how you install the TP-Link Casa Smart Switch and program it into your Alexa so you can control it with your Alexa. And I hope that you found this video helpful. Please make sure to click the like button below to help my video trend higher in YouTube algorithm. And also please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.